Hey there traders, this is the wake up call running a little bit behind this morning. Had a little bit of technical issues and I want to thank uh, Chris for pointing something out to me. Very important on um, the way videos were being downloaded onto the web. All right, let's go and take a look at uh, what we have here. The um, as I spoke about last night, that we had a few uh, interesting setups in the Aussie JPY and the New Zealand JPY, and I was looking to hopefully exploit these setups uh, after the uh, non-farm payroll report came out today to uh, see what we had here, uh, but it looks like we already broke through. And in the uh, and New Zealand JPY, we were uh, resting right against the... Um, the 0.618 fib from 76.78 from the move down from 2009. I guess we can look on the uh, daily chart to give you a better idea of what we're talking about here. Uh, from, from the move down uh, from 2009, and you can see that the pair, the uh, the uh, pair had been rubbing right up against it and it had stopped exactly on there into the close and I was hoping to have an opportunity to play the breakout or to the uh, to the top or the bottom on the pair but it, it just continued to uh, broke out last night basically and um, in overnight trading and now the pair is up a hundred pips from there so that pair that trade uh, if you had taken it to the, the long side there would have worked out very well now the Aussie JPY same thing this pair didn't have quite the same uh, same uh, trading uh, breakout so we have an opportunity to still take a look at this tra tra trade today uh, it's moving to, it moved up to test the uh, 0 0.76 fib at 95.34 and if we look back this pair has been playing the fibs uh, very well uh, very uh, tightly uh, ever since since it's uh, breakdown and we look at the breakdown from 2009 uh, to the lows and uh, you can see that the pair has been bouncing in between the fib ranges ever since and it did manage to break out just recently but it had stopped and it was sitting and resting at that 76 fib we're going to watch the price action once again on that pair after non-farm payroll and see if we can jump in on either end of that hopefully uh, to catch a couple of pips on, on one direction or the other uh, let's move down towards the uh, move back over to the majors and we'll um, We'll take a look at what we have there. Um, we can see that the uh, the uh, Euro USD and well, you can't see anything. Uh, oh, there we go. You can see that the um, overnight the Euro USD has continued to grind higher and now is above 136. Uh, the next level of real significant resistance though doesn't arise all the way up until. Um, up to the 0.618 fib uh, here at 138.16. So the pair's kind of in no man's land today, and I would not doubt if non-farm payroll comes in line that we could just see a continuous drag higher in this pair. So it's something we're going to take uh, keep my eye open for. And as long as we probably remain above the 136, that favor of push higher towards uh, 138 over the uh, my case, as long as we remain above 35, uh, push up. Um, towards 138 in the short term but if uh, some reason non-farm payroll makes a push down if we break this bottom range at 136 so n let's just say 136 we could definitely cycle down to 135 um, let's just see uh, the Great Britain pound USD still playing dancing around the fibs here it doesn't really want to break above or below 158.20 we're definitely going to watch that uh, today um, as long as the pair remains above this resistance zone that we've spoken about many times we I favor a cycle up to 159 followed by 160 so we're going to have to watch this um, Watch this uh, heading into the day. You could go long against pressure stops below the 50 fib at 157.83. Um, let's see the uh, CAD still just kind of deadlining uh, right above that resistance zone that we uh, – spoke about uh, yesterday uh, as long as the pair remains above the 99.70 and the 0.9943 it does favor a continued push higher to test once again that 101 and then ultimately the 0.68 fib at 101.30 um, New Zealand uh, USD still just consolidating at the top of his range I've spoken about this many times if you want to go short this pair though I would wait for the pair to move up towards the top of the zone very top of the zone around 84.50 or if we get a move down towards the, uh, the bottom of the wedge you can have an opportunity to go long uh, at those levels uh, the Aussie if we look on a one minute chart I mean four hour chart let's see here the Aussie USD uh, is still dancing with the 50 fib right here well not still I'd move down to test the 50 fib uh, 50 fib at uh, 103.75 in overnight trading um, 
it, it as, long, as long as this 103.5 level holds, well, if the pair breaks below this 103.5 level, uh, that's when the floodgates will open and we can move much lower. If you can see that that is significant resistance, I mean support right there, and if that opens, we can go down towards 103, then 102.5, but then basically we're stepping lower, and the uh, the upward momentum will be definitely off off the. Uh, off the uh, off the tables, uh, the yen USD JPY just continues to move higher with all the yen crosses. The euro JPY for the scalp we took yesterday uh, closed at 124. Uh, I think we closed at right around 124.15. Uh, for some reason, the pair continued to go up. Uh, geez, that is amazing. The pair continued to go up another 200 pips in overnight trading uh, definitely a trade that we could have held on for a little bit longer but you know we were only in it for the scalp so uh, we, ha we, we had the uh, 50 pips that we were looking for alright everybody good luck trading non-farm payroll today it's expected I believe to come in at 155k the, 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 uh, the numbers haven't really caused uh, drastic movement later I think once these numbers could come out we'll be able to see uh, the markets move in normal lock move, move in normal fashion for the day alright everybody um, keep a lookout for the Twitter feed and I'll be posting trades on the blog after they occur.